But the big question is, should you be reaching out to new girls that you've just started dating to say happy birthday or happy holidays? Hey guys, Danny Coach Harry Wilmington here. So in my previous video, I talked about the fact that you should not reach out to exes for birthdays or holiday time if they in fact dumped you soon before those things were set to happen, you know? But a bigger question that comes to mind is, okay, let's say it's not a breakup. Let's say you just started dating a woman, especially around the holiday time where there's Christmas, there's Thanksgiving, there's Halloween, there's New Year's and stuff coming up. And you may feel, you know, motivated to want to reach out to say happy birthday or happy holidays. Should you in fact do that? I actually got a question from a guy that's currently in my Get Girls Academy that's going through that situation now where it's close to the holidays and he was wondering, should he in fact say happy Thanksgiving to a girl that he's currently dating? They, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet, but they've been out on you know a good amount of dates and he's wondering like, would it be the worst thing in the world to reach out to say happy Thanksgiving? Merry Christmas, or if a birthday comes up, to wish you a happy birthday. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Click the link in the description to learn more and join today. So here's my general thought process, and here's and this is based on stuff that I learned a long time ago, all right? Is that at the end of the day, birthdays and holidays and the celebration of those things are meant and designed for people that are already in relationships. So if you've gotten past the three month day mark and she's come to you and asked the what are we question and you guys are actually in a relationship, then at this point going forward, celebrating birthdays and celebrating holidays is perfectly acceptable. If you're on a first date with a woman, your second date should not be a holiday activity or a birthday activity, as you guys probably can assess by now. Doing that as early, early dates is not the best thing. But what about that in-between? That in-between where it's maybe been between four to like seven or eight dates and you got a good stride going, but you start dating or say like at the end of October and all of a sudden it's like the, the you know, the end of November, Thanksgiving's coming up and then another month, Christmas is coming up and maybe she was born like between November and December, you know? So there's a lot of different milestones that are coming up and you're like, okay, I'm not the boyfriend, but clearly these things are coming up. It would look like an a-hole move to not acknowledge them. What do I do? So I'm going to just tell you what has worked for me. And again, your your experience with this may vary. So I know sometimes people come to the comments and say, but my experience is blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to tell you what's worked for me, all right? I have found on average that I don't get punished by women for not celebrating holidays or birthdays with them when they're not the girlfriend. So yes, I've been able to date women around the holidays where I don't get them gifts, I don't send them cards, and I don't wish them a Merry Christmas. I don't text them Christmas emoji saying Happy Holidays, none of that stuff. I have found that when I've started dating women close, and it's like close to their birthday, especially within like that first or second month, that if I don't wish them a happy birthday or I don't give them a gift or I don't give them a card, it's generally fine. I found I don't even have to take them out on dates on their birthday. I found that for a woman that I just started dating, it's better for me to take her out on a day that's either before or after her birthday, but not directly on it. Because then it still feels like I'm taking her out and I'm trying to get to know her and trying to show her that I in fact like her, but it's not the pressure of a birthday or holiday. And that's what I really want to talk to you about. Because the fact that when you as a guy are trying to celebrate a woman's birthday or holidays with her early on, this is, like I said, these are things that you typically do in a relationship. And most women are very hip to this. So when you come along and say, hey, I know we've been dating for like two weeks, but I want to take you out on your birthday. I want to celebrate a holiday thing with you. That puts her in the mind frame that you're already treating this like a relationship. And it's a very delicate balance between dating a woman and showing her a good time and building her interest that indicates that you want to get into a relationship eventually and doing boyfriend style behaviors that make her feel as though you're already there. And the problem with celebrating a woman's birthday and the holidays with her when you first start dating is that it applies the pressure. On her end, it feels like you're applying the pressure to already treat this like a relationship. But as I said, 
Women take two to three months to do their due diligence and to search their feelings before they solidify that they want a relationship. Until she's come to the conclusion that she actually wants a relationship with you, then she does not want to do the what I call the high pressure relationship stuff that goes along in a relationship with somebody that she's just dating. Now, men oftentimes have a hard time understanding this because they're, you're thinking logically, well, logically, if I'm trying to get to eventually be the boyfriend, then why would it matter if I'm doing boyfriend stuff now, including wishing her a happy birthday or doing holiday stuff like that seems asinine. I never said that all the stuff in data is going to make sense to you. I'm just telling you based on my results, what's going on. And the results that I typically got is that women oftentimes feel like they're being pressured more so into a relationship when you, in fact, celebrate birthdays and holidays. Now, you might be thinking, but then I can't just do nothing on those days. Like, what will she, what will happen? What will, will she view me as like a bad guy or a guy that's insensitive? And therein lies the real problem that guys had. It's not about like you wanted to do a nice thing. It's about the fact that you're afraid they're going to be severe consequences if you do not celebrate these birthdays and holidays with her, right? And so I want to try to assure you as best I can that you don't lose if you don't do these holidays or birthdays, all right? Let's, let's just logically break down what's going on here, okay? If you, in fact, do not celebrate her birthday or holiday or don't wish her happy birthday or, or, ha or happy Christmas or whatever, there's going to be one or two reactions. The first reaction, which I found more often than not happens, is nothing. I don't reach out to them on the holiday. They don't reach out to me. I don't reach out to them on their birthday. They don't reach out to me because we just started dating and those expectations are not currently there. And most women are aware that they have to earn the right to have those expectations. That's what I would say. That is the nice thing about dating women. I found that because women typically have a general idea of how their feelings are flowing during the course of dating, they, they know that like, okay, if the guy doesn't wish me happy birthday, well, that's understandable because we just met each other and so it is what it is. But you know, ideally, once we become a boyfriend and girlfriend, then he'll know to do that stuff on the actual holidays. But for now, we just started dating. No harm, no foul. That's how I found that the majority of women have reacted. And so therefore, I'm no longer afraid to start dating a woman and not be like, oh, happy Thanksgiving, oh, Merry Christmas, whatever. What's interesting though, I will I'll say this, I find that when I don't reach out, what usually happens is that the women that I'm dating will reach out to me with like a little emoji or like a Christmas thing, like, hey, happy, happy holiday, whatever. But I don't do that because also I realize I'm just, I use stimuli in her life and she has other people in her life already that have been there longer, that she knows a lot better that are already doing those things. You know, if I'm trying to text her on Thanksgiving and I'm going to be annoyed that she doesn't respond back right away, well, I have to understand she's with family, she's with friends, she's probably not stuck on her phone. If she's if it's her birthday, she probably had friends that took her out, she's probably doing something at a club or a restaurant or whatever. She doesn't need to hear from me because even if I reached out to her, she's probably not going to get back to me. I'm the new guy. I don't actually matter all that much. And I know that your ego might not be able to hear that, but like that's actually a good thing because it means that she's not going to be expecting so much of you so early on because you, you, not if you've earned those rights, right? So I, but anyway, so I found the deal reaction I get from women is that they, they don't really care and there's no harm, no foul. I'll see him when I see him. I keep on dating him. And I've been able to get into relationships with women that in spite of me not wishing them happy birthday or not wishing them merry, happy, holiday, whatever, right? So that's one reaction. Now, the other reaction you could get, potentially, when right, most guys can't handle this, is she gets mad at you. She's sitting there thinking, why didn't he text me at birthday? Why didn't he call me? Blah, 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 blah. Now, men think that women being mad at them is always a bad thing. Like, anytime you don't do an action she wanted you to do, that that's going to be punishment and that her feeling a negative anger feeling towards you is a bad thing. But as I said on yesterday's video, Sometimes women need to feel that anger and that disappointment to really start to analyze better what their feelings about you actually are. So let's say, for example, you've been dating a girl for two months and she has not come to you and asked you the what are we question, right? So you're still getting dating mode. And then her birthday comes up and you don't reach out, you don't call her, you don't send her an emoji, right? And she is pissed. She's so upset. I've been dating him two months. How could he blah, 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 this and that? You're thinking, you just not did a bad thing, right? But what's actually going on on her side? What's going on is she's feeling this. Okay, he didn't send me a happy birthday or, or a Merry Christmas or whatever. Like, of all the people that are in my life, I thought he'd be the one to reach out first. But wait a minute, Susie. 
realistically, he's not your boyfriend. I know, and I just wish you would reached out. But why do you feel that way? Why do you feel so mad that this guy that you've been dating for two months has didn't reach out to you? Oh, uh, I guess it's because I don't really know his feelings. Okay, that's true, but what else? Uh, because I know my feelings for him have gotten deeper. We've had a lot of good moments together, and I, I'm, I'm close to seeing him as the only guy I really want to see. And so now I'm wondering if this means he's seeing other people or, you know, like what else is going on with him. And I'm feeling all these things because I really, really do care about him. And But maybe he didn't wish me happy birthday because we're not in a relationship yet, and maybe he only does it. You know what? I need to have a conversation with him about, about this thing and also what, what my feelings are, what his feelings are. And all she's doing is going over feelings and feelings and feelings and coming to the conclusion that the reason she's bugged by you not saying happy birthday or Merry Christmas or whatever is because she really likes you. And she does actually see you as boyfriend material, but she doesn't know where you stand. And that's the real frustration. So now, in order to figure that out, she has to come to you and ask you all the questions. Well, I realized I was upset when you didn't say birthday. I'm just wondering, like, how do you feel about me? And where do you see this thing going? She's asking you for a relationship. So you see, either she's going to react by not reacting and you just keep dating her as is or she's going to react or have a negative reaction but that negative reaction is going to make her like think about her feelings for you and realize that she's mad because she wants you to be the boyfriend at which part she'll come to you all upset initially but under the guise of she's doing that to try to see if you're going to now be her boyfriend so you don't lose out if you don't reach out but let's say you do the opposite let's say you reach out or a birthday or a thanksgiving or christmas or whatever and again this isn't like all the time. I'm just saying, again, based on previous experience, you find you're going to reach out to her to say happy birthday and she's busy. So then you're all mad that she couldn't reach back to you because she had the, her phone next to her. She couldn't just take five seconds to do blah, 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 blah. So then you respond back. You couldn't even say, you know, thank you for the business net. Now you're looking like a, a, a beat up puppy that couldn't handle not hearing from her for one day from a girl that you've only been dating that you don't have enough time built into to actually worry about and that she doesn't have enough time built into to worry about what your feelings are if, if she doesn't talk to you for a day, that's a special day. Like, again, you you don't lose any points overall if you don't reach out. If anything, worst case scenario is you'll find yourself having a relationship conversation because she realized how butthurt she was. So I just say across the board that until you're in an actual relationship, you're going to benefit a lot more if you actually do not say happy birthday, if you do not reach out and try to do how they speak. And often enough, like I said, you'll find that if they if they've gotten a hype enough like for you, they'll be the ones to slightly reach out to you first just to see where you're at. At which point, if they reach out to you first, then yeah, say like, oh yeah, happy, you know, happy holidays or whatever this and that. But don't think you got to be the one to initiate that when you're not yet in a relationship. Now, once you're in a relationship, you darn well better be the one to initiate those things. But early on when she's not the girlfriend, please, please, please don't feel bad about it and don't reach out. At least that's, I guess, based on my experience, that's what's worked. Your results may vary. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>